Okay, so it's starting to look a little bit like a field of flowers, except for minus the flowers. <laughs> All right, so in the background, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more, um, maybe a little bit darker flowers. I'm looking at the picture and I'm kind of, you know, I'm, I'm matching the picture, but I'm not matching it perfectly, if that makes sense. So this is kind of more, like these ones are a little bit in the foreground here, but not as much as the major ones up here, so. Still just kind of maybe add a little bit of other colors back there. almost just a tapping motion, really. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some stems, which I'm gonna still use that same green color, but I'm gonna add some white with it. And I have a flat brush here, and actually I think I'm gonna get an even better flat brush. So it's a very flat brush, pretty new, and when you use it like this, so straight up and down, it should give you a pretty good line. So I'm mixing some, some green with white, the same green that we used in the background, but I want it to stand out more than the other stuff. And so I'm seeing a, a stem here and it shouldn't be perfectly straight. It definitely should have a bend to it. These are wild flowers. There's some stems over here. And some of them are just kind of faded, so you don't have to worry about making them perfect. And I might even just kind of use my finger to... And maybe some are darker. So you can go ahead and do that. Kind of got my paint too thick there. You gotta be careful of that because it's easy to not get a nice thin. Maybe some are short in the front here. But this is kind of impressionistic too. So you don't need it to be real intense. Okay, so I'm just gonna go with that for now. If I need to go back and add more stems, then I will. So now I'm looking at the flowers that I see that are coming closer, and I'm just gonna start blocking in some shapes. They're not gonna be just like what I see in the picture. I know I keep saying that over and over again, but I really want you to make sure to not be so worried about that and more worried about just enjoying the process and not trying to be a realist here. So this one is kind of a shape like a I don't know, kind of like a wine glass, only not perfect like a wine glass, but it has this flat top here and then and then the shape at the bottom is more, I don't know, like a backwards D. And we're going to go back in with details, so don't worry about whether it looks anything like a flower right now. Right now it just looks like a shape. And then in front of that one, there's there's this one, and it's almost like a circle. And you're just gonna find your own picture. You can use the picture that I, that I found on Pinterest if you want to, it's just a flower picture a field of flowers. Um, 
or you can just search field of flowers and there are so many. So you're just putting some shapes. Shh. Sorry. So painting is really a lot of shapes and colors. And so that's what I want you to focus on right now. I don't want you to focus so much on uh, I'm painting flowers, but focus more on, on shapes and the shapes that you're seeing in, in the picture. So I have a big round shape here. And it's not even the same. I mean, I don't even have them positioned the same as what the picture represents. It's just kind of an example of what a flower looks like. That's the nice thing about the internet these days is we do have so much inspiration. When I first started, I used to uh, go to the florist, find all the flowers that I wanted to work on, and then take them home and work from live flowers, which honestly I really do miss doing that. But it's very nice to be able to just paint whenever I want, working from my own home in the studio, not having to go out and buy fresh flowers all the time. But I would like to get back to that at some point. So this one's just kind of a sideways oval shape here. There's different colors in each of the flowers, so just remember to use different colors. Don't just use the same color of peach, add some white, add some dark red in some, add more yellow in some. You really want it to be a mixture because flowers don't all just grow the same colors. And they're just out there growing wild. They're not planted. That's not what we want. That's not the expression that we're trying to say here. We're trying to really have a have an impression that we have these flowers out there that are just growing in the wild and and um you know, you wander into this flower field that's just full of beautiful wild flowers out there that you can enjoy the breeze, you know. I mean, you're just trying to grasp the emotion of it more than you're trying to grasp what the flowers actually look like. That's what impressionism really is. It's just, you're giving an impression. So you almost kind of are moving your hand in a way that isn't so much just like this, but you're kind of shaking a little bit. And I think I'm going to give one more over here that's kind of in those same colors. And then I'm going to let these dry and I'm going to go back in and give details, more details to these. Um, and then if I feel like the composition needs some more of something else, I'll add it. I might even add some of the colors that are on my brush just in the background here, just for some distant flowers. <laughs> 